All right, so here we are with our live commentary video. We'll be taking a bit closer look here at the Chung Mu today. So let's go ahead and just briefly look at the ship real quick. Um, as discussed, the Chung Mu is a Fletcher class destroyer. You can see what I have uh, equipped here. And of course you have that option between that smoke generator, uh, Long action time, 30 seconds, but shorter smoke screen dispersion time of 70 seconds, or that 7.5 kilometer radar. So you can try out either. I think I probably feel more comfortable with surveillance radar on the Chung Mu versus the Cian Yang because this is a Fletcher class and you have an additional gun. Uh, you have five guns instead of the four guns on the Cian Yang. So uh, sure, I can run radar. We can see what it looks like. Um, not sure how you, I mean, I, I've been playing a lot of the smoke, honestly, on Chung Mu. Um, I haven't tried out the radar uh, here on Chung Mu yet. Um, a lot of the games I've had with smoke Chung Mu have been pretty successful overall. Um, I'm not sure if I've had a situation yet where I felt like I've needed radar on Chung Mu. Um, I did run into a radar Yu Yang. But my team, even though after I had to pop smoke, my team helped me focus fire, and then our CV killed the Yu Yang. So that was uh, extremely helpful. Um, I think when you approach these destroyers with more radar intention, you have to play them more like gunboats, right? Because you can't just smoke up, can't go dark, and you use islands or use a friendly smoke. So it kind of changes. Um, how you play the Chung Mu, or how I've been playing it, is since I really appreciate the buff that Wargaming did recently on the Chung Mu, and that was to give it the Torpedo Reload Booster. So just having that helps you, you know, your damage output be even greater with the torpedoes um, and launching, you know, two additional sets. So for me, that has makes it a little harder in my mind to just like, yeah, I'll do Radar Chung Mu. Um, I personally have been really appreciating that uh, having the Torpedo Reload Booster here on uh, this line now uh, versus when it wasn't there. So I think I lean maybe a little more towards smoke than running radar, but I can run a radar. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so Neski, so we have Minotaur, possible radar, 10 kilometer, Riga, 12 kilometer, 5 kilometer, Hydro, Holland. Well, I lose a gunfight against the Sherman, the Marcel, and likely the Holland. Although it's done some weird matchmaking. Two tier 9 destroyers, they have all tier 10 destroyers. Where's the difference? Okay, so it's there. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, so let's check out the concealment. Of course, it's running 5.7, and we have a 7.5 radar. Um, we have the engine boost, we have our torpedo reload booster. So one of the things when you're playing destroyers, um, I think I'm gonna make a video on this, is just paying attention to how your team's positioning. Um, and we only have a Montana, and he doesn't seem to be necessarily interested in coming over here. I'm really, Conscious. I mean, I out detect the Sherman, the Marcel, and the Holland, not the Shima, but not having any support. I mean, you can look. Our Montana's already leaving. Um, this is going to make things really difficult uh, for me, especially in being here. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and step on the cap, and I need to actually pop up my radar range. I'll go ahead and step on the cap for now. Uh, I think one of the things I need to be very aware of, yep, uh, is that there could be torpedoes coming this way, and I don't really have any support. So if I get in a gunfight with, let's say, uh, a gunboat destroyer, uh, things would be very bad for me. So we're going to actually go ahead and pop the radar. It's the Marceau. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. And with deep water torpedoes, we can't just uh, throw any at the Marcel, right? Because deep water torpedoes are going to sail right underneath. Um, 
so it looks like he's kind of hunkered in there. Now the Marcel's max concealment is uh, seven kilometers. So we will detect him before he detects us, but he's faster than we are, right? So when you get into these high tier matchmakings, your life is already much more difficult um, because there's just a lot of really good tier nine, tier 10 uh, gunboat destroyers. And Chung Mu's not necessarily on par. So we're gonna pay attention here. He's in, yeah, he's going for it. So we gotta go. We're not gonna play with the rudder. Because if you play with the rudder, we're gonna bleed speed. Just trying to get my team's attention here. Because he's not going dark anytime soon. We're going to rotate our guns over because we want to be able to kite kind of like this. But we're going to bleed a little speed for that turn. All right, I'm going to actually slow down. He's turning out. I really want to play with him here. And this is kind of one of the, challenge, uh, the strengths that you have when you're facing destroyers like this. Let's see if we can reset him. Um, because you can kind of troll them and keeping them permanent lit. Okay, we did get one reset. Let's see if he's gonna fire, he's gonna fire now. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple more pot shots. Okay, now we're just gonna go dark. So now we're gonna get a little bit crazy with our rudder here. We're gonna go more like this. I mean, even the health difference, I mean, he starts with 25,000. So, I mean, it's not like fantastic for us in this situation. Now our torpedoes, uh, let's see, I mind myself already because I'm forgetting, yeah, 10, five. Uh, so we can probably, we might have a chance here. Marceau's coming back in. Probably, I honestly wish I would've got those torpedoes off a little bit sooner. We'll see. Because he might just do full turn and then we don't end up landing any. Yeah, I wish I was paying attention. I would have launched dumped those a bit sooner. But we're going to sit here a little longer. We're going to see what's going on. We've lost our set soon, huh? How are they looking? Two? Just gonna put the herd on. Come on. Nice. Okay, now we're going to push back up. Because we're struggling with cap control right now. This monster looks like he's drifting this way. Um, I'm not really concerned about the Musashi. I am concerned about the Minotaur, but I can see he's a smoke Minotaur, so he's not radar. If he's radar, he's got 10 kilometer, and I think he can get over 40 seconds. Uh, radar? I don't remember. So Torpedo's already reloaded. Shima's playing with fire. I wonder if he's trying to get a torpedo run off on the petrol. Uh, I don't think the Sherman's been detected for a little bit, so we're going to have to be mindful of that. Uh, Musashi, we saw he had a fighter up, so we made sure you know, we've got our AA already off, so it doesn't accidentally go up. I don't want to get caught up by the Minotaur if he ends up turning up north here. So I'm taking this cap a little wide just because of that. Yeah, Masashi's got plenty of place to turn. Hmm. All 
stations it's low. fire on the designated target I tend to not be afraid calling out low health targets because if your team manages to uh, do that well it's helpful okay so now he knows this cap is being taken so if he's wise he won't push back in he'll probably keep pushing out if he saw what happened to our or his Italian BB friend, so that means he's gonna run out of our torpedo range. That's what I'm gonna guess he's gonna do. Now Schlieffen is a new contender. He hasn't seen what's been happening, so we're actually we're gonna go ahead and just throw a bunch this direction. We're gonna pop the torpedo reload booster. Um, he's coming within. Uh, he's sailing into torpedoes, and. We're just going to go a bunch there. Now, he could slow down and decide to turn in, but I don't think he's going to. All right, there's our Minotaur friend. We could possibly troll the Minotaur. How far is he? Oh, he might even eat some of those deep water torpedoes. But we got to be mindful of Minotaur torpedoes, as I was just about to say. I wonder if he's got Hydra up or not. All right, so we're going to troll the Minotaur. He's right there. There he is. All stations. Reporting the position of a strategic target. Keep an eye on the Marceau. Let's make the Minotaur nervous. I can speak. So unfortunately no torps landed. But we are getting this guy lit. We might actually Let's back up, keep him permanent. Oh. I was really considering shooting him, but with the Schlieffen and a Minotaur sitting right there, it's probably not the wisest. Alright, so Musashi's pushing in. Marceau's up here, Holland's down here, Sherman's here, so we know where the destroyers are. So we're gonna back off. Our torpedoes have reloaded. Schlieffen. Okay, I think... Is Musashi going to go this way? Oh, let's do it. Let's, let's go this way. Let's assume he's going to move more this direction. Because we might get lucky and even pick up uh, Schlieffen coming in. Now, this Musashi could redirect his course and come forward like so. Oh, we've got the Marcel lit again. This Marcel's not having it. So if you find yourself in this type of situation, this is kind of what you want to be able to do. He's not happy. Okay, let's do it. We're about to get lit. We need him gone, and we have the health. All right, now we're gonna dodge. Everything else, we're gonna kill the throttle. We're gonna overshoot us a little bit. We're gonna pick it back up again. We're about to go dark, we're gonna swing now. And we're gonna go very far on this way. Careful not to ram the island. So yeah. So that's how we handle that. Now we don't want to be too far away. Our torpedoes are about to come off reload. So we're gonna swing back in. Engine boost deactivated. So we're just gonna make their life really difficult up here. Let's, let's go ahead and do it now. I'm 
No cap for you. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. I think he's gonna turn out like that. Concentrate fire on the designated target. I try to give my team a heads up. It's like they did get a hit there. That's good. So let's turn up this way. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. He probably has Hydra on. Now, the question is, do we start chiming in? Now he's got the heal. Okay, he's turning back this way. Nice. Love it. Good game, everyone. <laughs> I love reading chat. <laughs> okay, so let's um Dish Leafin has been playing quite passively behind these islands, so that's kind of interesting. I mean, granted, he probably doesn't even want to come out since he's seen what's been happening to his uh, his mates. Eating torpedoes. Yada, yada, yada. See, Shleifen has... Didn't they nerf the Hydra? It's like 5-5 five, five for ships, I think. I'm really interested to see what he's going to do here. If he sees the Fletcher there, is he going to like panic and be like oh i need to like cut in is he going to come back towards the cap i mean he's the last battleship we'll go ahead and just pop our reload booster and we'll have it ready in case we need it he's gonna go in the channel now let's say if i had smoke here i don't know if i'd necessarily just want to start shooting at him and alert him that hey destroyer behind you is probably dumped torpedoes on you but no, he's turning away. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna get lucky. A little Shimakaze guy going for the CV. I like seeing that. And he has the opportunity to do so now, right? Yeah, I think Shufin's trying to push Fletcher. I have his Hydra up. Yeah, I don't think those are gonna have the range. Oh. Ah, uh, so close. There's the Sherman. Now, it might be fun to just, like, open up on the Schlieffen, but, I mean, his secondaries are wicked. Um, and he could chew down our remaining health quite fast. I think our Fletcher is going to be able to handle the Sherman, possibly. But we'll go ahead and move down, pop engine boost. It looks like he's got it. Yeah. Now, the question is, does the CV get to live? Now, CVs are smart, and they know they're being chased by a destroyer. They'll do what this guy did. He saw him, and he decided to cut throttle. And look at all those torps. They're going to overshoot. So... But maybe we can get some shots off before... Hins. Okay, that doesn't actually help, Shima. Not really worried. We're going to turn AA off. We'll get some damage in, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to die. It's unfortunate. He lives. It's worse for it in a randoms battle. It's like you just went on points and the CV's just like almost dead. Like if you had maybe 30 more seconds or something. Okay. So it didn't do a whole lot. But um, I mean we did what we could in that situation. I mean what's our spotting damage? Uh, da, 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 da. I'm blind. Damage upon your spot. 110,000 damage. So, um, unfortunately, you do not get rewarded for 
damage <laughs> upon spotting spotting damage uh, in World of Warships, but um, we really contributed in helping our team get some impactful damage there. So, um, so we were definitely supporting. I mean, we really understood the role that you know we uh, are not a gunboat shore a hybrid when you were going for the radar, um, but we were able to exert our influence over the cap. Um, we still fought for it. Um, when you have the team fire focusing, helping us, like when we're on that cap, that's that's helpful when you're dealing with a destroyer like that and you can toy with him and keep him lit. Um, usually they get frustrated and they just keep pushing into you and then when they do detect it, you open up and then hopefully you have teammates or maybe another div mate nearby that can help uh, punish. But we just waited for the time to come right. He was low on health and then we were able to open up on him and take him. So, so yeah, so that is um, an example of how... I play, would play Radar Chengmu. Um, I probably still lean more towards the smoke, but um, probably because Chengmu is not... Um, I don't know, there's just a lot of other good gunboats at Tier 9 and Tier 10, and when you're taking Radar, that's kind of what you're doing, but you can use it in a way of lighting up destroyers and smoke, and you know that Minotaur we were able to do. So, If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it, and we'll catch you next time. Take care. Thank you.